hair. I got my lashes on. I'm like, shit. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to say, um, I didn't even like require you to be in drag. So what a nice surprise that you are in drag. I hope oh. they didn't tell you you had to be in drag. No, they didn't say anything. But okay, it's okay. <laughs> Well, this is okay. such a nice surprise then. Um, happy Friday to you. How was your week? Um, it's been it's been good actually. Like it's been a great week actually. Yeah. Um, next week is Pride for Montreal, so we got in our uh, virtual videos this week, and so I'm excited for everyone to see it next week. Definitely, yeah. I love all the um, virtual Pride events that have been going on. I did the um, Amazon one. There was like an Amazon Pride event, and you got to create your own T-shirt. And so I created my own t-shirt. It was so fun. I really just appreciate how everyone seems to be adapting to this temporary new normal and finding ways to still interact with the community and still. Exactly, exactly. It's, you get surprised with the, the creativity that everyone's getting or having, you know? Yes, and what I think is so cool is um, I actually talked to Brooklyn Heights about this before Canada's Drag Race had even premiered it was actually before like it had been announced when no one knew when it was coming but we just talked about the idea that in a way drag possibly has been exposed to more people during quarantine because um you know if you're doing an instagram live there's not a cap it's not like at hamburger mary's or it's 200 capacity so <laughs> anyone can watch anyone can tip so how has your experience been with that doing more virtual shows and well, it's been been different a little bit because like in the beginning you're like oh my god what do you do what do you do and it's been honestly like positive 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 um response because in the beginning i was doing it in my house mm -hmm. uh, well like right here it's like my living room so <laughs> so these performances were there and the switch over like you're so used to being in the club and getting that energy and screaming and and the life from the people and then so you really had to like check out and be like hey they're still giving you the same praise because like everyone's commenting um yeah. at that time, right so it's just different uh it, it takes like a little bit just to switch mentality a little bit so um but for the most part everything's been going well and now that um these prides are giving out funding for creating these videos now it, i don't know it's it's, it, it's different because i would never have the, the chance to be my director or um you know get, like talk to my roommate about costume and stuff like that so like now we really get to plan things out where and then you could like i have a vision and i really get to execute that vision through these uh, performances yeah and in a way you uh, possibly have more control like you said because i mean you kind of have in a way like you can decide um where specifically in your house it's going to be what where it's a venue it's like okay this is the stage you're going to perform here don't go this way because it's a fire hazard whatever it may be and i love what you said the comments are almost like substituting for like people clapping and cheering in the club so you can still feel like you're getting that energy and that praise so i, yeah. I just thought that was a brilliant way to put it <laughs> Um, and I loved you on Canada's Drag Race. I really did. Um, the lip sync to Avril Lavigne, iconic. I'm obsessed with Avril Lavigne. Maybe it doesn't feel iconic to you, but it's iconic to me and a lot of the fans. So it's so funny because people uh, in my shows, like I do like R and B, but I like pop and like I like UK, um, anything UK pop as well, and like dance music. So like definitely. It was a moment where I'm like, okay, how do I make this song my own? Uh, and then I just found this rhythm to it. And then I just was like, oh, I'm going to Vogue right here. <laughs> it just was, it was just like amazing. And it's such a fun song. It's just like a lot of energy in it, right? Yeah, and you definitely made it your own. No worries there at all. Um, and, you know, I think uh, part of your kind of storyline on Canada's Drag Race was the idea that um, the judges didn't get to know the real you or your story didn't come through and I have to disagree just I think that I like connected to you so deeply just I guess it's because of your you know charisma and your your spirit and just your overall like personality and I know that other fans have of course said that on social media so did that kind of feel like obviously you um what's the word, you uh, value the judge's input, but I would just wanted to say, like, I actually kind of felt the opposite. So how has that been hearing that? Um, yeah, so you definitely see that. So it, it's it's so strange because it's been taped so long ago. So I went through the roller coaster of, of emotion and fight at the time. And so when you watch it back, you're like, 
oh, okay, how do I <laughs> process this? So it's so like a lot of processing uh, mm-hmm. to it. And honestly, like, I don't think I like did the best I could have done. Like I went into the show doing me, which, and I've never done a contest and a, a pageant or, you know, oh. like, so like all the other girls had this type of uh, fire to them mm-hmm. and, and spirit because they've done, all these girls have done pageants and then they want it so bad. I, I just didn't have that. I, I, you know, so it's almost like working out a muscle. You have to keep on training it. I didn't have the muscle of a pageant. I just went in, did me. I was like, okay, this, this should shine. Oh, it didn't? Okay, next week. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's different, right? How you, how you, how you see things. I'm happy everyone saw that side of me because it's like, you just see me perform and then, hey guys, and go home. No, like I'm, I'm a, per, a human being. I like have worries. I overthink things sometimes. I don't think about things. Like, so it's just very all over the place. Mm-hmm. It is. And you know, it's fascinating because in one way, um, you had almost like a leg up in the competition in the sense that you didn't, well, you still felt the pressure, but you might not have known like how much pressure it truly would be. But then on the other side, it's like you had a leg down in the sense that you hadn't done like a competition before. So it's such a tough balance because it's like, they tell you it's a competition. You have to fight for your life. And then they tell you, oh, but don't worry, don't stress, have fun. So I'm sure it's hard to find that balance. Like, Tell me, tell me, make it make sense is what I'm saying. It's, it's weird because it's like, I know I'm really, really good at performing and doing these lip syncs. And then that is, so all my battles have been that. Like, you're mm-hmm. like, oh my God, these amazing battles. Um, so it, it's just, it's just really different because I, I think with pageants, you have weeks of figuring out what categories you, what are going to make you shine the best. So these girls have that experience, mm-hmm. right? where I'm just like, oh, I don't like this. I'm going to create an opportunity for myself. Yeah. I'm going to, like, it's just, just different, you know, different ways of going about things. Mm-hmm. Um, I had like a great time. Yes, it's frustrating. Um, things are done in like, they give you like a time limit, and then you do it. Yeah, which so, people I, sometimes don't realize. It's not, it's not, you can't take your sweet old time. I want to look as best as I can. So I'll go to a studio, rehearse, <laughs> come mm-hmm. home, rehearse where those, like you have manner, maybe hours, like you're like, oh, do this, do that, 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 that. That's so it's kind, of, it's kind of quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and just the time limit in and of itself is so much pressure. So I can only imagine the entire um, process. But like I said, like, I loved you on the show. Your confessions were the best. So good, so iconic. I loved those. I've seen the memes go around. They're very real. It's like real frustration and like, that's how you get. Yeah, if it means. <laughs> yeah, but no, I love it. You and Lemon seem to be the most memeable queens. I guess would be. I don't know if that's so good. Definitely not a word, but um, yeah, I always love um, looking at them. I use I use memeable the other day, so it's, it's really funny. maybe we're I like it. somehow. I love it. it. No, that dictionary might happen to yeah. add it. <laughs> we'll start a petition. Get this word in the dictionary because two people so far have used it, and that's enough to make it a word, right? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and I actually was watching another interview you did. Uh, I think it was with Pop Buzz. Don't quote me on that. But they were discussing how a lot of the challenges um, were design challenges or had some element of design. So I was wondering. Um, you know, in Drag Race, I was about to say Drag Race America, in RuPaul's Drag Race, um, the challenges, there are some design, but it's also a lot of other things that queens here tend to put emphasis on, such as comedy or, um, you know, improv or something. So I'm wondering if the reason there are so many design challenges or elements of design is because that is what Canadian queens tend to focus on, or? No, it's the first time of the show, so like it's whatever happened, like literally, there was no, there's no science behind it. It's like, that's how it was dished out. Like I- Yeah, but like, would you say that like queens uh, just in performing like at clubs uh, are, is there more pressure to be like a look queen rather than a comedy queen, lip sync queen? And is that possibly why? Oh, yeah, Yeah, those- Sorry, that didn't make sense. No, no, I get what you're saying now. Those pressures came because of the show, um, RuPaul's Drag Race, because 
but before, like before the show, like my mother like was making clothes, to, like we like singing live, doing jokes. Like so, those were just natural things in our community. Um, and so, so RuPaul Drag Race was like, yeah, let's do these things because literally you don't even realize, like before the show, it's like how do you stay relevant? How do you stay interesting yeah. to people? So you just try new things and like just try it in front of the people. They either like you or not, you know? Yeah. Or, uh, and yes. you could get any response and you just work from there. Yeah, it's a lot of trial and error, which is another thing I didn't really realize until I started going to more drag shows and seeing local queens like totally change up their kind of routine or something. I'm like, wait, why are they doing this? And it's like, oh, well, the crowd always loves them, but this time they got like twice the tips or whatever it may be. So it is unfor not unfortunately, but it does sometimes come down to almost like a formula which yeah sometimes like it, the show's so mixed with all that stuff so it's like yeah. how it's like acting challenge okay do this <laughs> you know <laughs> and they'll just add like an element to it and then they always try to switch up things you know they don't want the viewer like yourself to be bored even even me in the club it's like okay i need to learn i'll give myself a goal and be like i need to learn three new songs and at each of them will have a different style it's like okay. So like I try to switch, like make it hard for myself so like the, the audience loves it too. Like they're like, oh wow, this is so new. Like, Yeah, and there's something for everyone, for sure. And don't worry, I was never bored watching the show. I actually watch it with my mom. Um, it's a great little tradition we have on Thursday night. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it, I really do like Canada's Drag Race. It's, I mean, I love Drag Race all in all, but I think this one has a special place in my heart just because it is the first season. And I know, right? Everything's just so doing so well. Um, yeah, and a question I like to ask any drag queen I interview, um, forgotten it a few times, but uh, hopefully no one has noticed. Um, with drag becoming more mainstream, there is either more misconceptions or people are just talking about it more, so there's more room for rumors, so to speak. So what is a misconception about drag queens that uh, maybe is negative that maybe you want to clear up and be like, no, that's not the case, guys? Oh, uh I don't know if this is seen as a negative. Maybe fans or people who, watch the, well, people who watch the show automatically think they know drag. It's like, you don't. <laughs> That's like the hugest one. Yeah. Or I wouldn't, or sometimes our community likes to be very, very negative on stuff. Like you should have done that. You should have done this, did it. I'm like, well, why don't you apply to the show and you do it? Like, yeah. like millions of people are watching me and I now have to sit here not just the judges, but the whole world now is like, oh, I didn't like that. I like this. Like, they don't realize that we have feelings still. Like, we're putting ourselves out there for you to see. Yeah. So just, I, you know, have a little bit more sensitivity and respect, you know? Yeah, and that's not to say you can't have your favorite queen, but having a favorite queen doesn't mean you hate all the other queens. It just means you have a favorite queen, you know? I don't hate them either. Like, yeah. like the girls get, like, hate mail, like, just out of nowhere and it's like we would just wake up one morning and then like someone's like oh I didn't like this about you you should give up I'm like what it's like who gave you the right like you no one has the right to do that to anyone so that's a big one that's a no-no bullying and negative t um, comments yeah you need to go yeah they really do and I think um to anyone who like you know wants to listen to me obviously Tainomi said it beautifully but like just something to add on to that I think that people sometimes feel like, oh, well, the judges are judging them. Why can't I? But it's like the judges have different qualifications and they know you as people. No, they're on a show. And they're, yeah. <laughs> like, and they're on a show. Bottom line, they're on a show. <laughs> I make the show is for entertainment. So it's like, when everything's said and done, these judges will probably be at the same events of us and we'll be like, hello, how are you doing? Like, we know reality, that's reality TV. And then reality is like, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess that's another thing. Remember, this is a reality TV show. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get me or you sued, but by definition, a reality TV show is sometimes produced or edited in a certain way. So, and yeah, I guess just keep that in mind. Again, not saying that like as a secret, everyone knows it, but... No, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's like, we already, it's a show. So it's just like, be nice. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please, please spread love, not hate. That's what I say. Exactly. Or kindness counts or be kind it's free i love that one yeah i like that one actually it's free unless you send someone 
makeup or something but and by the way your makeup i love it i'm so mad the lighting in my house is terrible but i have glitter on my eyes no, i see your glitter <laughs> oh you can yeah it's like bubble, bubble gum pink oh my gosh okay i'm glad you can see it and i can see yours obviously is so beautiful oh I, my gosh i love I know, it. today i tried teal and uh, it worked so pretty i'm gonna put it just on you so people can see it is so so pretty uh, I love it. Um, what would be your number one makeup tip for someone who just wants to experiment with makeup, but they don't want to put it on and be like, oh, wow, I'm not so good at this. I want to give up because I feel like sometimes that happens and it's so sad. Listen to me. I'm not a makeup artist. I like practice, practice, practice. I watch so many tutorials. Um, I'm still, I'm like, like, I'm not like a professional, but it's like, that's the fun about makeup. You could like do it, do it, try things and then start over. Mm -hmm. Like it's easy, just take that foundation and just like, oh, it made a bad line, <laughs> dab it out. And it's like, you could try again, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I literally did this for my first time, this color. Like I've never done it. Perfect. You got to film some cameos or something after this. Uh, do you have cameo? Yeah, I do actually. Okay. Hi, Nomi Banks. I'm going to be doing a cameo very shortly. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure, though, because it's like, I would feel so bad if you did this, like, look just for me. So I'm like, you gotta, like, do cameos or something else today, because <laughs> I really appreciate it. You look lovely. Oh, yeah, no, I will. I will, for sure. Okay, good. That makes me feel a lot less guilty. <laughs> um, and a couple more things. Do you have time? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So a couple more things. Obviously, um, you're based in Canada. I'm just wondering um, if you've ever been to um the states for a show and if so how was the energy or kind of the crowd been different and if not what would you hope to see i guess um i've only been in like like a backup dancer as in drag for uh, celebrities okay. so i never got to perform in a club but i've been to clubs with performances and honest to god those girls especially like in new york city <laughs> when i say talent energy like like and just so creative, like the whole bar is just like, like with them and like, so it's just high energy and like so quick and funny and everything. So it's like very inspiring because like our shows, some, some people are like that. I don't think they really have like dancing, dancing queens that, mm -hmm. that many in New York, like in that way, from what I saw, like when I went, it was more set of like, their mixes are very funny and cut and yeah, that's how it is in LA. Yeah. That's why well, there are dancers, but like they make it more like uh, like a comedy stand up kind of um, show. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm um, based in LA, so I go to Mickey's. It's the same type of thing there. See, it's so good. I've been there too, and it's you, so. You go to Showgirls? Um, I went, and one time I saw a Raven, and she just did this amazing ballad and literally didn't even move. Just like subtleties, and like I was bawling. <laughs> I was like, like see, like just stuff like that. I love, I love, I love performance. Yeah, that's how you know you're a good drag queen if you can, you know, do these little moves and not a full on lip sync and still connect with the audience. Not to say we don't love full on lip syncs, but that just goes to show. Um, I think you must have been at Showgirls then, because she and Morgan McMichael's host it. So I was. <laughs> it's so fun. Well, when it's safe, I hope they uh, fly you down here. To perform. I would love that. That would be love awesome. That, I'll be, yeah, and I'll be front row for you Um, because yeah. I'm very short. I can't see otherwise. So, you have to be front row. <laughs> yes, I have to be. Or I just uh, look on the screen. There's so many people there. They have like the projector screen in this small club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I was sitting more front row, so I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's in the back, like closer to the bar, but I'm like, that is awesome that like this tiny bar has to have projector screens so that everyone can you know see oh, I'm, I thank them for that because when it gets hot up in there I need to <laughs> yeah oh. yes I am the same way same way um well thank you so much again for your interview and um just willing to talk to me I thought that was very sweet of you um, oh no this is perfect it was today is Friday you know so I was like yeah let me get some makeup on do some stuff yeah, that's true. And I know that, um, obviously, despite being um, in quarantine here, you guys are starting to do hosting parties and stuff. So all the more, I just thank you for... Yeah, like, safely. And yeah, they even, they created this mask that just, it's see-through, but goes like right here over your mouth. So you yeah. can lip things still. So 
That is so smart. Well, it's like, I'm like wicked, so I don't need to talk to anyone. I don't want to mess up my makeup. And it's like, yeah. it's on your chin a little bit, so it's just off your mouth, and but it covers your nose. That is so cool. I think someone has uploaded your uh, performance to YouTube. Did you have it on a few days ago? Can I see it on YouTube? No, it's, it's going to be my first time back tonight, actually. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something about a viewing party, but I could be like totally wrong. It's been a oh, long day. viewing party, yes. I did a viewing oh, party. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I heard you. Uh, yes, I did one in Guelph, which is like an hour and a half away. And Got it. Like, okay. when we did the question and answer, I had like full mask. Oh my gosh, I have to watch it. I'm sure someone uploaded it to YouTube because people upload everything to YouTube nowadays, as oh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but hope, uh, uh, luckily you can still get away with telling those jokes and stuff. So, and I can then watch them. Yeah, I love those jokes, those memes, those memeable jokes. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, thank you again. Uh, if you just want to do that self promo, so Twitter, Instagram, fan page, any projects coming up? Oh, um, so everything is Tainomi Banks. Uh, my website is www.tainomibanks.com. I'm on Instagram, which is Tainomi Banks. I'm on Twitter, which is Tainomi Banks. What else is there? Uh, Cameo, um, Tainomi Banks. And I think that's about it for now. MySpace? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That would be so funny, though. That would have aged me very hard. Uh, <laughs> no. No, no MySpace. <laughs> you know, well, all those. Yeah, that that's awesome though. I think yeah, I think you got them all except MySpace. Um, unless you have like a public Snapchat or YouTube, but other than that, I think. I barely use Snapchat, but I I am on there. Okay, yeah, I don't use Snapchat either. I like kind of forgot it existed. So. Well, I like all its filters, and I talk to like five friends on there. That's oh, only, okay. Like, well, then yeah, Instagram then will most definitely be the place to go since I see your pretty active on there. So. Oh, and now that Instagram has like almost upgraded to, it looks like a TikTok. Oh, kind of. Reels, Instagram Reels, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I hope you'll post some Reels on there. I'll, tr I'll try to do a Reel, actually. You could do like a like a sped up makeup routine or something fun, because um, I think it has to be one minute, but I will be the first like, first comment. It said 15 video. seconds, so I'm like, where am I posting this? Oh, I have to research it a little bit more. Yeah, honestly, I've never gotten into TikTok, so I can't help you there or Reels. But um, if I find like a tutorial, I'll send it to you on Instagram or something. You know, everyone makes tutorials, so I would definitely be like, "How do you use Reel?" Right today. Yeah, like I said earlier, everything's on YouTube nowadays, so I look forward to seeing that. It was great talking to you. You too. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to meet you in LA one day when it's safe. Yes, yes, yes. I hope so. I hope so. But until then, I'll keep, uh, you know, supporting you online. Like, and I'll support you online afterwards. But you know what I mean? I'm like, LA, wear your mask. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I just got um a Valentina mask that says I'd like to keep it on, please. So. Oh, perfect. I'm excited to wear it. <laughs> I'll be in style for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Of course. Bye. Bye.